Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Home Master Challenge. Last time on the challenge, we made some progress through Rock Tunnel and we caught our fourth team member in Machop. This time on the Pokemon Home Master Challenge, we need to run back through <laughs> Rock Tunnel to heal while also um, giving Machop some levels. That's the reason I'm not using Dig. I want to actually, um, uh, yeah, I want to get some levels on it instead. So we're going to go back up instead of where we were going. We're basically just turning heel from where what we did earlier. Go through here. No encounters on that entire section is great. Right, now where are we? Oh, okay. No, almost no encounters on that section. Almost spoke too soon. Right. Um. Yeah. Dig. Oh, how much is that gonna do? Right. There we are. Okay, now where are we on the map? Okay. Hello, Zubat. Hopefully after going back and forth, um, the chop will be, you know, maybe in a, at a level where they can fight. Who knows? Um, yeah, Rock Pro. There we are. Oop. You actually, um, add a remarkable, a remarkably small number of encounters so far on the way back. Okay, we're almost back, I think. Yeah, there's one more sub-tunnel to go. No, or two. But I think I've confused myself a bit looking at this map. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, um... So what is this? A Geodude? I think it might just be one. What's confused me is that there's no actual entrance to the tunnel. It's a ladder. That's confused me on the map a bit. Yeah, okay. I I know where I am. I haven't gotten lost. Right, rock throw. All that bell sprouts fault oh, anyway why I'm this far down. That was a terrible fight. Oh. And we're out. We're just gonna quickly heal. Then we'll be back out. Yes, heal, please, please heal. Thank you. Our team. Okay. Let's do it all over again. Need to use flash. Okay. Um, right. 
You think I would know my way perfectly around by now, but I still need the map. Hello, Machop. Didn't realise I could encounter you on the first floor. I thought you were just on the basement. I haven't got anything super effective for Machop. And my Machop is a higher level, so you're not fine. Let's give it a go. Ooh. Okay, that was a crit. That was a crit. Or oh, there should be more of a difference between our damages by now. Right, that's a crit. Level 18, nice. The first match Machop's done by itself. Best thing for a Geodude is a dig. Ouch. At least it didn't use explosion. Another Geodude. Another dig. There we are. Right, sub tunnel two. Doing pretty well for encounters, I think. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm going to end up finding so many encounters. That's not going to do much. Yeah, just one HP. Yeah, we are. Onyx. I think that might be a pretty rare encounter in this area. Normally it's Geodude and Zubat. Oh dear, Bind. Bind is like Rat. In that. It's kind of like Rat. Yeah. It might be exactly like Rap. I'm not entirely sure. Zubat? Oop. I want to switch into Golem. Nidra admittedly doesn't have too much of a use down here. mainly on Golem and Charmeleon. Oh, so close. Whoa, I'm glad that missed. Sub tunnel, I'd like to say free. Okay. Sub tunnel four. Job that failed. Okay. 
and Zubat and Geodude both have moves that make it slightly dangerous to switch in for, but oh well. Of course, Geodude has Rock Throw, which is good against my Charmeleon, and Zubat has Supersonic, which is just annoying. Not quite the same level, but you know, still annoying. Quite annoyed by I had to walk past that guy. I might not have encountered a Pokemon if I could have just gone straight through him. But oh well. Times of charm. Level 19 on the chop. Nice. Okay, sub tunnel 5, I think now. I fought you. I saw a Machop in this tunnel. So did I. Oh. You have Pokemon, let's start. Fine. Yeah, it's a pretty clear switch into Golem. Ooh, Whirlwind. I'm glad I'm unaffected. Um, I don't think moves like Roar and Whirlwind work on Pokemon that are a higher level than you in this gen. I think that's probably it. Perhaps use Raptor. I don't have anything super effective against the Raptor. No fighting type moves, so I'm just gonna use Mega Punch. Miss. Oh dear. There we are, one hit knockout. Ooh, level 30, nice. Use Raptor, same deal. Again, one hit not well crit, so fair enough. I'll use Bell Sprout. Grass Poison type. Best move here is probably Twin Needle. If it doesn't wrap me immediately, of course, and then keep wrapping me. I need to be able to get the move in. Right, Twin Needle. There we are, one hit knockout. Level 30. I'll learn Pin Missile. Right, we're probably gonna have to do a bit of maths here as to what the pin missile is worth learning. Um, right, let's see. So, how much? What is pin missile's power? Also, what type it is? Bug type move, like fury attack and poison sting. It is a multi strike move, which makes the, which makes frankly the math annoying. Right, I have to get up a calculator for this. Okay, Twin Needle has a power of 14. Oh, something tells me I'm not going to be keeping it right. 14, that means um, the maths is 0 0.375, the chances of it hitting twice, times 28, plus 0 0.375, the chance of it hitting three times, times... Um, 14 times 3 is 42, I think. Sorry, miss. I am not on the ball today. Right, 14, 28. Yeah, 42. Okay. Plus 0.125, the chance of it hitting 3, I mean of it hitting four times times um, 14 times four, which is like the music in my head isn't helping. Uh, 14 times four, which is 40 plus 16, so 56. 
plus 0.125 chance of it hitting five times times 14 times five which is 70 so on average twin needle i mean on average pin missile does a power of 42 i'm gonna get a notepad to store this info because i need to do that a couple more times for my other moves um pm 42 is what i'm gonna write down um but also it's got stab so 42 times 1.5 brings up to a power of 63 okay then we also have few i mean we have twin needle So, Twin Needle does 25 power. With the same chances, probably. Oh no, it just hits twice. Right, yeah. Twin Needle hits twice. So that means it is 25 times 2, always. Um, it's a bug type move, so times that by 1.5 for stab. Twin Needle does on average 75 power, which is higher than Pin Missile. I'm probably never going to use Pin Missile even if I learn it. Um, Fury Attack. Fury Attack probably has the same odds, right? But it does 15 power, which is literally one more power than. Fine. Okay, so that's. 0.375 times uh, the chance that's the chance of it hitting twice so that's 30 base power plus 0.375 times 45 plus 0.125 times 60 plus 0.125 times 75 that does on average 45 But, but it's not actually no that's a normal type move so that just does 45 base power overall on average all right i'm just realizing now that all of this math i'm doing is the equivalent of just timesing the base power by three i think um, so, sorry if this is boring, this math. I just like having my moves, I don't know, properly, properly laid out. Yeah, 14 times 3 is four, 2 times 1.5 is 63. I could have just been multiplying these by 3 instead of adding up all oh, 0.375 times, uh, whatever. Poison Sting. Um... Oh, Poison Sting just hits once. That's not a multi-hit move. But its power is 15. And then times that by 1.5 because it's stab. 22.5 base power. Rage. Hasn't got set power. And I don't like it because of that. So I'm... This has probably taken about 5 minutes me doing all that. Right. I'm going to get rid of Rage. I was probably always going to get rid of Rage. But now I know where... Now I know the order that my moves are going to be in. I'm not even going to use Pin Missile generally. So that's probably a bit of a waste of time. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm... Yeah, I'm really quite sorry about that. Oh, well. Right. Almost at the end now. Oh. Last trainer, probably. I came this far for Pokemon. Have you found any? Your new trainer wants to fight. Meowth. I haven't got anything super effective for a Meowth. I don't want to stick in with Machop because Machop is lower leveled. I'm going to switch into Golem. And use a couple Mega Throws, probably. Payday does so little. Oh no, just one Mega Punch. Did I say Mega Throw? I Oddish. Just Poison type. 
best move is switching into B drill and using Twin Needle. That gives me a chance to reorder my moves around a bit. So on top, I want uh, Twin Needle, then Pin Missile. Um, at 63, then Fury attack at 45, then Poison Sting at 22.5. Cool. Twin Needle. If I run out of PP for Twin Needle, I suppose Pin Missile might be useful, but until then, Pidgey, best move now is to switch into Golem. And use Rock Pro. There we are. I'm out of Pokemon, yeah. Picked up some money. Um, my team's in about right order. Right. And we're out. Is this the girl that says um, she likes Pokemon with flowery patterns? I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. Never mind. I I knew that girl was like. I mean, she might still say it after the match. Who knows? But um, I know she's near an, a tunnel entrance, like Golem. I'm glad to be out of Rock Tunnel. Only took us two episodes as opposed to Mount Moon, which I think might have taken us three and a bit. I think this only took us two episodes. Stop missing Rock Pro, please. <laughs> there we are. Won it knockout when we eventually did hit. About to use Pidgeotto. Gonna stay in. This is the first time we've seen a Pidgeotto in battle, I think. Yeah. Crit, one hit knockout. Nice. I'm not up to it. The Pokemon here are so chunky. There should be a pink one with a floral pattern. Yes. It is you. Oh, this is a... Yeah, I figured there might be something there. Bit of suspicious looking tree. Hi, kid. Want to see my Pokemon? I can see Lavender Town right there. Why do you want to fight? Fine. I want to see your Pokemon. Cubone. I don't think I have anything super effective against Bubone on my team, but I don't think I'm going to keep Machop in. <laughs> so I'm going to switch out to Golem. Ow. Use Mega Punch. Too close. There we are. The Maniac is about to use Slowpoke. Um, I think we determined last time that the best move against Slowpoke was Wind Needle, but might as well double check. Yeah, probably Twin Needle. Oh, well, so close, but then again, we hit again, so it's fine. There we are. Oh no, my Pokemon. Oh no. Right. We're in Lavender Town. Let's quickly heal up. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Heal. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again. Um, right, so I'm thinking... We just did Rock Tunnel. We're in Lavender Town. What's next? Uh, what's next for us to do here? 
Mm. I think maybe going to Celadon next, just going straight. No, that's... I am reading through a little bit of text that I've written down. Um... Oh, this music. This gosh darn music. Um, I think the move now is to go to Route 8. Yeah, go to Route 8. And then use the underground path. And to go to Celadon. Right. I, I don't really ever know what to do when it gets to this area of the game. That's fine. Route 8. Trainer. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Mareep. Mareep is one of those. I suppose you wouldn't know what one of those is, lass. Right, Clefairy. Um, don't have any super effective, so I'm going to switch into Golem. Ooh, double slap's not going to do too much. Now I have to sit through this again. <laughs> right, Mega Punch. There we go. One hit knockout, one hit knockout. Nice. The Fairy, same deal. As long as I don't miss again multiple times. There we are. Stop. Don't be so mean to my Clefairy. Fine, I will stop. Stop this episode, that is. Thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Pokemon Home Master Challenge. That's all the stuff we have time for today. In this episode, we got through Rock Tunnel, we did some good training on Machop, and we reached Lavender Town. Next episode, I hope, that we'll get to Celadon City um, through the underground path and continue the story so we can finally maybe get Doduo. So hope to see you then. But well, hope to yeah, hope to see you in the next episode. Ciao.